welcome to this edition of Bonehead of the Week. We have some really big boneheads, of course. Um, two senators and mm-hmm. a bought and paid for Supreme Court justice, uh, Samuel Alito, Senator Susan Collins, and Senator Josh Holly. Uh, mm. Yeah, Josh Holly. Yeah, Josh Holly. Hauling Josh ass Holly. Hauling ass Holly. Booking it. Speaking of booking it, no. <laughs> We'll get into that. Yeah, we'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. So let's start with the Alito uh, part because uh, I actually have a video clip of the Alito, yeah, uh, where he's where he's doing a thing that Supreme Court justices probably shouldn't do. Yeah. Um, Gabe, can you give the audience a sense while I'm looking for this here of what he actually did here? Yeah. So uh, foreign nations were critiquing our you know our basic uh, response to what has been happening, and he mocked them. Right. So he he which is so which is so odd. Right. As a Supreme Court justice, you would not outside of the opinion that you state in your uh, your response to whatever the case was. You kind of shut the fuck up after that. You really don't go out there uh, making more of it. You just say this is my job and this is what I do. Right. Mm -hmm. But he decided to go further and and mock the foreign leaders who were condemning the the decision of Roe v. Wade. Our friends over at Midas Touch put it uh, eloquently, as always, Alito pro- proving in front of the world that the right-wing Supreme Court justices are nothing more than a political hacks unfit to serve on the bench. Now, um, here is the video where he's mocking them. Let's Let's listen to this bonehead, and then we'll move to the next. We got some boneheads to get to here. Well, let's listen to this fucking bonehead last few weeks since I had the honor this term of writing, I think, the only Supreme Court decision in the history of that institution that has been lambasted by a whole string of foreign leaders. There, there might be a fucking reason for that. You, I, I, I want to point something out. Why is he trying to grow a shitty Ted, Ted Cruz I don't know. beard? It was like, you know, every everyone during COVID thought, hey, I could grow a beard. Right. You know, well, but this is a really shitty Ted Cruz type beard. It's not even a good one. Right. I don't know. I'm just saying the guy, the guy, he, the guy grows a beard like he makes fucking decisions on the Supreme Court is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking ridiculous. OK, let's listen. Who felt perfectly fine commenting on American law. One of these oh. was uh, oh. former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, but he paid the price. <laughs> So no one, no one in the U.S. can speak about foreign nope. policy and nope. laws, and no one in nope. the no one abroad nope. can comment. On... Well, I mean, other than him, he can. Right, he's yeah, a yeah, fascist. Yeah. He's a fascist. He can do that. Right, 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 right. He's a white dude. He can do that. Right, and he's and he's not. He's he's an American, and he 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 holds the lifetime seat of a Supreme Court justice, so he's allowed to do whatever the hell he wants. Can you do me a favor and load in the video? I don't. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I, yeah, go ahead and load in the video. Uh, but let's let's listen to what else this fucking bonehead has to say, and then we'll move to the next one. Post hoc ergo propter hoc, right? <laughs> but others are still yeah, are still in office. President Macron and uh, Prime Minister uh, Trudeau, I believe, are too. But what really wounded me? What really wounded me? was when the Duke of Sussex addressed the <laughs> United Nations and seemed to compare the decision whose name may not be spoken with the Russian attack on Ukraine. Jesus Christ, this fucking guy. So so th- this th- is th- the sa- oh, just for context, this is the same fucking guy who quoted what? It was a 17th century a jurist who uh, right. prosecuted witches? So the guy coming out here trying to say, oh, let me go after the people and mock the people that have critiqued me taking away the rights of women. Just a basic, again, health care right that we have, right, that women have. And he goes, I didn't like the fact because this is what he's really saying. He didn't like the fact that people made fun of him. He didn't like the fact that he was the butt of the joke. So he hired some writers to write this little speech that he gave. And to make fun of those people, not very funny jokes because those things are unrelated to the the decision that was made. It's like, eh, whatever. But remember, 
This guy used a 17th century jurist to say for a witch trial for fucking witches to say, oh yeah, women should, should not have the right uh, to decide what they can do with their own body. Like what the fuck? This is the guy that wants to come after other people talking about him. Well, even in the decision, and this just doesn't affect this. I mean, they're paving the way for contraception to be banned, right. for 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 same sex marriage to be banned. Which brings me to my next bonehead, Susan. Oh, they've learned their lesson, Collins. That f- fucking clutch trunt. my pearls, Tony. Oh my Clutching god. my pearls. Oh my god, this this fucking bonehead. How she's been on? She's been on the list several times. She has been on the several. Side. I don't think she's actually won. I might have made her a DM one week about Roe v. Mm-hmm. Wade. Right. Well, here she is. Um, speaking of same sex marriage, um, you know that that Schumer and Manchin have come to an agreement on the inflation reduction bill, mm-hmm. um, which does a lot for climate, actually, which is surprising that Manchin has reached that agreement with Schumer. Now, whether Manchin holds true on that agreement, we'll see. But Susan Collins is basically saying that if you're going to get the same sex marriage bill, you can't have the inflation reduction bill. So you got to choose, America. You got to choose. You either want the inflation reduction bill or you want to get gay married. This is really fucking dumb. Like what, what kind of ultimatum is this where you're going to I put no the idea. rights? They're not, even, that, they're not even two of the same thing, right, really. Exactly. But it's also like you're going to you're gonna put the rights of those who have same-sex marriages up for, fuck, at stake and say, look, you guys can either have this marriage thing that you want or we can deal with inflation. Like, why can't we have both? Why is it so? Why is it so, like, not even comprehensible to 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 say like, yeah, as an American, we would want to fight inflation and bring that down, while also giving people the rights to do whatever they want in whatever relationship they want to get married to whoever they want. Like, why? Why is it even a discussion of like, look, you can only have one or the other. You got to pick which one is it going to be. Tick 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 tick. Like, they're, they're fucking ridiculous. She's fucking ridiculous here. I mean, absolutely, she's saying you either can have the inflation reduction bill or you can you can have your same-sex marriage bill. You can't have both. She's like, you got to choose. And this goes back to Ted Cruz fist-bumping on the floor right. of the fucking Senate because he's excited that they killed a bill that he thinks Democrats want. Yeah. And it's not about Democrats wanting this bill. It's about veterans getting the fucking health care they've earned. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And Democrats just want that. That's all they want is they just want the ability for these veterans to receive the health care they want. Just like Democrats don't want to tick back and take away the right from people to love who they want to love. Right. They don't want to do that. You, you got this right. Why, like, these people were given this right. It took a long time for these things to happen, right? You had rights for women that, you know, in the last uh, 50 years have had. You have this one that was, what, 2008, I want to say, or 2000, I forget, no, 2013. 2013 is when Prop 8 was passed, I believe. So now you're going to, like, for the last nine years, it's not only the people, the couples in the relationship that are affected, it's those in that family, anyone who was adopted. Now you're like, look, Dad and dad, mom and mom, whoever you are, uh, were legally not viewed under the law as your parents anymore. It's crazy. Or as like together. And now you got to live in separate houses. Like it's a whole fucking thing where it's like it's insanity. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Right. I mean, like, obviously, I know why Republicans are doing this, but the 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 ultimatum is like. You can either have this or you can have that. Like, what is it going to do? You're either going to deal with inflation but have your relationship or we're going to bring down and ease inflation, but you lost that relationship that you fought so hard to get and you've had for less than a decade. It's craziness. So there's why Susan Collins made Bonehead of the Week along with Samuel Alito. Justice Samuel Alito. Here he doesn't have the Ted Cruz beard. Right. This um, is before. This, I yeah, have not. This is, see, look, this is the first time. Because Supreme Court justice, you rarely see them out in public. The mm, only time right. is when they're like at a gala or at a function like this. 
But even then, like it's very rarely they're they not they're not talk about the way the only he's time you get a photograph it. is when it's like the group shot or individual shots that you'd find on like the Supreme Court Justice right. website. Well, I mean, they like to go and Brett Kavanaugh likes to go to steak restaurants. And well, he he likes his beer and he likes his right. ketchup on his steaks. Right, right. right. It happens. Um, someone else who probably likes ketchup on steak is the dishonorable mention of the week. Representative Marjorie Hooffoot Green. Oh, boy. Oh my God! What did she do? Why is she the dishonorable mention? You, you, you put your decision in this. What, what? Yeah, why yeah. did you make her DM this week? She's, you know, not a Nazi. She's. Uh... <laughs> oh, this goes back to the. This goes. She's back a to Nazi. Nazi. She's a Nazi. Know? She's not a Nazi. She's, She's a, a Nazi. national Christian Nazi. Yeah. Oh my God! What a fucking bonehead this one is. I, I we we talked about this yesterday. You know, Jessica Denson came and and kind of guest co-host yesterday. Yeah, she did a fantastic. Yeah, job, thank you to Jessica. Way. Yes, shout out to Jessica Denson again. Everyone, go follow Jessica on Twitter uh, at Jessica Denson 7 Make sure to go give her some love over on Twitter. But we talked about the Christian nationalism yesterday and this this fucking boneheaded shit where they're they're embracing they're embracing their fascism. Mm-hmm. Just straight up embracing it. If I can find the clip here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is on um, Michael Knowles. Uh, do you know who this is? He's some kind of far right, you know, trader TV news network podcast. I don't know what the yeah. hell this is. I don't know what the hell, who the hell this guy is. Really. Looks like uh, Scott Bayo. Yeah, right? Right? Like a young Scott Bayo, honestly. Right. Like a young Chachi. Hey, Chachi. Right. I mean, you know, this is more Tucker Carlson, Alex Stein, Stein type shit. Yeah, yeah. No but, bow tie, no tie. Yeah, just a, well, you know, casual, right? Casual cashmere ca- sweater, casual rube, a yeah, casual yeah. rube, exactly. not a, not an official rube. Right. But listen to how he introduces her first. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for so much for coming on. <laughs> He's really excited that she's coming on his show, Gabe. This is so nice to have a Nazi on my show. Mm-hmm. But you notice how there are really smiles here. The, and I think the reason why you put this or on the dishonor mention is this clip. Is this the clip? Yeah, yeah. This is okay. the clip. And I think it's I think it's very telling in our country that Republicans who self-proclaim themselves as proud Christian nationalists have to be asked the very first question when they go yeah. on a show is like, Are you a Nazi? Because that's that's literally what are, happens here. A lot of people are saying that you're a Nazi. Right. I just want to just want to get it out there in the open. Let's <laughs> Let's just let's just address do, the elephant in the room. You do a good impersonation of him. Let's watch. Thanks for having me on, Michael. So, first question: Twitter is forcing me to ask this. I guess I guess Elon Musk, who owns Twitter now, apparently, yeah. not um, is forcing him to ask this question. You hear yeah. this? You hear? Do you hear? The 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 I'm being forced. Oh my God! Freedom victim. of speech is at risk here, Gabe, because he's being forced. At Jesus Christ, let's listen. Are you now, or have you ever been a Nazi, a national socialist? He can't even say Nazi. A na- he national, even... a not na- national socialist. Are you You're socialist? Right. right. Are you, so like, are you a socialist? Na- national are you national a... socialist. Like he can't. Did he even he say, say Nazi? He, he didn't even well, say Nazi. Listen. No, I went through this yesterday. He did not. He can't. He can't utter the fucking syllables out of his mouth because, God forbid, he he, he may cause excitement for. Because I would bet that he thought, "Oh my God, maybe if I actually ask her, she's not." She's like, "You goddamn right, I am." I mean, you don't know. Right. You don't know. But watch. <clears throat> or have you ever been a Nazi, a national socialist? A Nazi, a national socialist. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he. I don't know why he fumbled on the Nazi. I don't know if it's supposed to be one of those where you're like, oh, you know, uh, like Josh Hawley was running for. I mean, from uh, you know, <laughs> office or whatever. Like, if it was one of those, you like one of those like er slip. I mean, kind of moments. Or if he thought like in his head, he's like, don't say Nazi, don't say Nazi, Nazi, ah, nationals. Yeah, you know, right. He like was trying that's... to. He was trying to get the word socialist in there. It seems right, right, yeah. To me, yeah, like, yeah, it sounded like it, right. You know, because th- th- that's what they like to do. You know, they're like, oh, the Democrats are the ones who started the KKK. Like, yeah, sure. OK, that's that's part of history. Right. But if you're going to ignore everything since then, OK, that's yeah, that, yeah. You're right. Then you're a fucking bonehead the same way as, well, they were called socialist in Nazi Germany. Yeah. But if you go look at the history, they weren't 
they weren't what you're saying is a, is a socialist. That's yeah. not what it was. But okay, w- words, friend. But let's let's watch her response to see if she claims she's a Nazi or not. Oh, never. Okay. I'm relieved ever. to hear that. Uh, yeah, that uh, apparently they can label you things you're not and lie about you and smear your character on Twitter, and they think that's perfectly okay. And this is what they have done to me ever since I became a member of Congress. <laughs> Gabe, uh, shit, oh my God. Uh, all, no. those, all those people on Twitter, they, they type out on Twitter, Gabe, that she's a Nazi. They need to stop. You know what needs to happen? Someone, a billionaire, needs to buy Twitter and force people not to be able to type out the things that they want to type out and stifle right. speech. That's what should happen, Gabe. That's mm-hmm. what should happen. We should make That's what sure. they want. That's, That's right. what they want. This is They all want free speech up until a certain point. Tony. Right, up right. Until a certain point. They want free speech. You they want to want type in Nazi, and then they're going to like, well, well, you can't say. Did you really want to say Nazi? And you're like, yes. It's like, well, too bad. You can't say Nazi. Right. You, know, you can't like, call oh, me. No, you can't call me a Nazi. You can call someone else a Nazi. You just right, can't call right, right, me right. a Nazi. Yeah, it's exactly. Like Nazi. this, Marjorie Taylor Greene be like, no, never. I was never that thing. You know, it's like, okay, look. She's like, they've been attacking me ever since even before I was sitting in Congress. Like, That's because you're, you're a Nazi. The, you're also <laughs> the crazy woman who showed up when you were not a representative. You showed up to AOC's office and started yelling into her fucking mailbox. You're fucking crazy. Not only did she do that, she filmed it and then posted it on the internet. And then deleted it once, <laughs> I think might have been Patriot Takes or somebody found it, and then deleted it and was like, no, I never made the video. Just like when Patriot Takes posted the text, she's like, they're taking my words out of context. It's like, we're it's reading the back image. and forth. It's an it's image just, of it's, your it's, text. It's you texting. They're taking my podcast out of context. You literally said these things. You said this July 4th shooting was oddly suspicious of a conspiracy. It's like, you said it. You're the one saying on your show. Nobody, yeah, she's, nobody, she's, nobody edited. They just cut the thing that you said. That's all. Well, I want to point out here because she's on Michael Knowles show and it almost looks like they have the same background. It's almost I, like for a moment. Copied. I was like, is she on the same set? No, no, no. She's on her. She, right. I she know. She's two, got her. She has two she's sets got her, for her show. Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she's right. got the MTG logo on the and background. She, she has the. She has the mic again in the wrong. She's not in position. Right. Exactly. But she's also. She's also not in that weird ass hotel room. That's no. Echoey anymore because with, because the, with the mic that's pointed away from her. Right. This. This mic. This mic is a dynamic mic, which you have to actually. You have to talk directly into it, like yeah. this. Like if I was to, but my. Right, right. Mine is a condenser mic, and that's the kind of mic that she has at the hotel thing, whatever that is. I don't know if it's like a if it's like a back room of a brothel or what the hell she's. Yeah. Where but also that mic she it. has has different settings, so it's like a cardioid or what. Right, right, you can yeah. have different yeah. where it's like I want a surround. Right. I want it just this part. I want it on this right. side. You know, if I'm doing like a conversation between two people, because it's very like similar different... to the mics we have. Because you, right, use, exactly. You use a Yeti. That's a Yeti. This yeah, is yeah. a Yeti. Now this one here is not a Yeti. This is a no. dynamic mic. It's like a radio mic. You have to talk right. directly into it. Which right. some some people like those kind of microphones. <laughs> I prefer a condenser microphone, yeah. so I don't have to eat the microphone. I can stay away, and I'm really loud, so I, I like to be away from yeah, the microphone, yeah. so you guys don't have to you know hear me too much. But but here she's again. She's on this other set, which is weird. That it seems like she stole his background. I'm just saying it feels like she copycatted him here. I wouldn't be the saying. first time that she's copied other mm-hmm. people and then try to take credit for it, you know, mm-hmm. or 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 just try to rewrite the story to be like, I've always had this thing, you know. Right. I've, always, I've always believed this thing, you know. I was always a Nazi. I mean, I was always a national uh, Christian, <laughs> you know. A national Christian, a nat C. Let's listen. A nat C. A nat C. And I'm really tired of it. I I am. I'm. I. It hurts me. It hurts my family. It hurts my friends, and it angers them. It also upsets uh, people in my district because they share the same faith uh, faith that I have. I'm a Christian, and they also love our country just like I do. So stop being a Nazi. Like, look, look, look. You know. You know what I would say hurt her family and her relationship with her husband and all these things even yeah. worse than this. 
mm -hmm. accusation that people are making about her. The fact that she had two affairs that we know of with a, a trainer at the gym that she worked at mm -hmm. and also a tantric, a, sorry, a polyamorous tantric sex guru. So I don't want Marjorie Taylor Greene coming here and saying, people are calling me these things and that hurts my relationship and my family and all these things. I know, Wait. I know. Keep it together, Wait. Tony. Please don't, please don't you throw up on the you show. Can't, you can't put Marjorie Taylor Greene in the same sentence. Look, all I'm saying is, you know, um, she did yeah. some burpees and then, you know, she was full at him. So Marjorie <laughs> Taylor Greene cannot come out here and make these things. Oh, you know, it really makes me me as a Christian, my Christian faith, if you were really Christian, you wouldn't have broken the goddamn Ten Commandments. Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'm a Christian and I love God and God told me to run and man is the superior gender to me. So as a woman, I actually shouldn't be running because that's the logic she's saying. And another clip that we played before, she's also saying right now that it's like, oh, as a Christian, I was tested and I it hurt my family and the things that people are saying are this. One, it's free speech. Two, You've got to prove that it's not true, Marge. And three, if you really were a Christian, then you would actually practice the teachings of Christ and follow him to say, oh, yeah, I love thy neighbor. I will not I will not murder. I will not plant a pipe bomb. I will not have an affair. <laughs> you know, like what, what was that about a pipe bomb? What is that? Is that? An, I don't know. Is allegedly. It, is 11, allegedly. Is that 11, 11 yeah. commandments? Uh, this, that, I think the it's the 11th like. Like, you, you know, he went up there pipe. and he was like, here are thou the Ten Commandments. Not, and also he had a he had a, just a tiny little slab that said, thou shalt not plant pipe bombs. <laughs> oh, speaking, speaking of people who have shit blow up in their face, uh, Matt Gatz is also on Bonehead. Alpha cuck, he got <laughs> cucked big time. Dude, holy this shit. This was huge. So tell the audience how Matt Gatz stepped Ooh. in it and really got cucked here. All right, so there is a, a there is a, a a Gen Z activist. Her name mm -hmm. is Olivia. She's from Texas. Uh, she's from Texas. Mm -hmm. She is fighting the good fight. Um, she's kicking ass down there, and she's only nineteen. She's only nineteen. So right. I just want to set the context for what's about to happen. Matt Gates goes to his fucking student action summit in front of teenagers, makes a speech about how women are 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 fat and ugly. Makes his you know. Yeah, we we, very... we 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 actually covered the clip. What, right, what, exactly. That was, that was over the weekend. I think. I yeah, think so we that played happened it on Monday. Right, exactly. We so, on so that clip goes out there. Olivia was like, "Hey, this is really fucked up. This is fat phobic, and this is uh, misogynistic. Like, you're making this speech. This is terrible." He catches wind of that. Quote tweets her. Uh, quote tweets her, and then uh, he said, uh, "I think dander file, dander flat. I forget what the thing he quoted." So dander, dander raised. Dander raised, right. So then it becomes his back and forth, right? Where she's like, oh, now he's calling me out. And then a bunch of people from his side that saw that post started to come after her, right? So she started getting threats. And she, she, she's got fucking tough skin, man. She took that. She took that fucking alpha cuck, dumbass, <laughs> sex trafficking, wannabe man and started to raise money off that to say matt gates as she said here well matt gates i have to hand it to you i didn't think you cared about us abortion right activists but your spotlight on me has helped me raise 50k for abortion rights in the last 24 hours so i made a special thank you card she makes a special thank you card she this gets was people just in. the first 24 hours i was just the first 24 hours she, so she, she was just getting started here dude the fucking engine was just revving up she makes his thank you card. She gives people a template. She's like, tell Matt Gates, thank you for what he's done. <laughs> That's within the first 24 hours. And this motherfucker, it was like a it was like kerosene on a fucking bonfire. This thing blew up. Like a pipe so, bomb in a in a capital city type thing. Exactly. Within 48 <laughs> hours, I think they were over three hundred thousand dollars. Within 72 hours, Tony, Gen Z, the the group that she's with. They have raised the Gen Z for Change group have raised over one million dollars. Wait, wait, for, with an M, with an with M, an here, M, with a capital M. So here's her proof for the first twenty four hours. This is fifty thousand yeah, because is, people were doubting her. People were saying right, she was lying. Right, right. They're like, this isn't this is real. Just a bunch of leftists. And then she actually so they, got she actually got this hashtag trending too. Right. This is, is one hashtag. Abortion. This is one hashtag one, she got right? trending. This is the first one. So she gets Matt Gates. 
is the pro abortion, right? So the updates keep coming in. You get 48 hours, boom, 24 hours. Let's hit hundred K within the next day. They broke in that and they get $115,000 that he right. raised because of Matt Gates. But now she's at a million bucks. But now she was on Joy Reid. She was on all these other things. She was like talking about what's going on. Yeah, here she's blasting on the, the message. Show. Right. Blasting the message and getting it well over a million. And I think it's like, uh, I want to say close to 1.5 now. Well, let's watch this report from Katie. So you've called Gates's comments outright misogyny and fat phobia. We reached out to the congressman's team about those body shaming claims. This is what we got back from Gates's spokesperson. Quote, Congressman Gates never mentioned the adults weight. Leftist media did. What do you think about that official response from Matt Gates's office? Get him, Olivia. Get him. Get him. I think it's quite telling that Gates's office would try to keep the word teenager out of the headlines. Mm -hmm. so time Matt Gates and teenager trended together. It didn't end so well for him. Okay. Okay. Gabe, Gabe, uh, I, I think I think I follow Olivia. I've been following her for a while and I think yeah. she follows me. To, and I think your mutuals do. We need to get her on the show next week. Yeah. We I'll, I'll reach out to her, her after the, I'll reach out to her yes. after the show and see if she wants to come I, on. I, I, I am in love with her now. Just because oh, I haven't, she I haven't has seen this clip of her with the teenager thing. Oh my oh, god, man. Wanna... dude! It's it is fucking making its rounds. And the joke here's the thing: just like Josh Hawley running away, like that'll never run out for right. sure. Never run mm -hmm. out because you know whatever. He's just a coward. And Matt Gates the same way. His whole sex trafficking, you know, allegations. Let's call it what it is. It's a real thing. Uh, <laughs> that shit with teenagers. That shit will never run out. He will always have that over his head. And Olivia here fucking dunked on him oh, again yeah. and again and it. again. And every fucking time along the way, she does an interview, fucking dunk. She gets, she raises 300K, 500K, 800K, a million, 1.5. She keeps fucking dunking on him where right now she's hanging off the rim and just fucking <laughs> him in the You're gonna face. Gonna break the backboard, baby. Which uh, uh, the other the other interview I saw with her, she's not just gonna give it to one organization. She's gonna try to distribute it to all fifty all states. Fifty states, exactly. And, and trying to make sure this money gets in the in, in the best hands of, of of organizations in every state to make sure that people who aren't receiving abortion services or having trouble receiving abortion right. services can receive those services uh, that save lives and 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 help women get their actual health care that they need. So Olivia. If you can hear me, I love this. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful cherry on top to make mm -hmm. Matt Gates the alpha cuck, cuck mm -hmm. the shit out of him. You did, Olivia. Oh her my bonehead, god, her bonehead of the week. Woo! She did a fantastic job. Fantastic job. It so, was amazing. I'd love to have her on next week. Yeah, I'd love yeah. to have her on next week. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna retweet this and uh, give her her credit for bonehead. Um, and here's the thing. I don't see that stopping. I mean, she could get to 2.5. Oh, oh, yeah. It's going to. Well, because uh, you because, you know, Matt, Matt Gatz is going to continue to be a pile of shit. Right. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, if he's going to continue to be a pile of shit and she can figure out a way to raise money off that. Hell, let's keep going. Right. Let's keep going to raise money off this piece of shit, which brings me to. A, a sure, I mean, I even said I said online, I was like, turns out Matt Gates is actually the best fundraiser for. Mm -hmm abortion rights yeah you it's were crazy. sending me you were sending me some stuff and uh, I, i've been keeping an eye on this uh this thing and of course monday we we railed uh gates ourselves but the teenage the teenager comment is uh woo baby it was fantastic yeah. mm. speaking speaking of assholes speaking of assholes we have uh our bone end of the week our winner uh senator josh hall and ass mm. i mean holly Josh, Josh Hawley, Hawley look at him booking it. Just fucking oh my God, booking. booking it. So I, I think that's the reason why everyone has him on the... Well, there was also the new what is it? news about What? Him. Already? What? Just turns out... Yeah, it turns out oh, the sorry. masculine man, that is Josh Hawley, right? Mm -hmm. That fucking pro-testosterone gonna fucking do it as a man. <laughs> He's writing a book that's coming out next May. Yeah. What's the it title? called? What's it's it called? called Manhood. Uh, hold on. 
hold on i got i would i don't want to i don't want to say it poorly here it's called manhood if i had one maybe that's what it's yeah, called it's manhood, a, if I had manhood? Oh. what is it <laughs> uh yeah uh, matt walsh what's a woman josh holly what's a manhood what, what is, manhood? is a manhood yeah, no but josh holly uh i had it i have it here i have it here um ba -do -ba -do -ba -do, do -do -do -do. manhood the masculine virtues americans need mm. not a joke this isn't like being ironic this is not tongue-in-cheek this is him the same man that I think it was last year or so, or a couple of years ago, was saying that uh, masculinity, manhood, is mm. under attack. And he is victim number one. Of course he is. Well, he's a white man. Here's what I said about the book. I said, Josh Holly writing a book called Manhood is like Steve Bannon writing a book on hygiene. What the actual fuck? Who would buy, who would, who would, who would buy a book from Steve Bannon on hygiene? Right. Nonetheless, buy a book from Josh Holly yep. on manhood. Are you fucking kidding me with this like shit? Like the guy, and this is all after the fact of like, he, he, the fucking January 6th. Here's it. I just want to point out the January 6th committee did not, did fucking not have to do that to mm -hmm. Josh Holly, right? They didn't have to show that clip. Yeah, they, they could have just, they, they could have just, they, they could have just talked about it, right? They didn't they, have to. They show. didn't even here. They didn't even have to bring it up. They could have just jumped over and were like, "We're gonna play the outtakes of Trump, and we'll call it a day." Right? They fucking went after Josh Hawley because you hard, know what? hard Fuck that guy, and they got him fucking good. <laughs> because what ended up happening is they bring up the fact that oh yeah, Josh Hawley was out there. He's like doing his fucking pro insurrectionist fist bump to all the pro Trumpers, and as soon as they were like, "Hey, you guys got to get out of the building because these fuckers got in." And they're coming, they're fucking, they see red and they're coming for blood. And like, oh shit. And he fucking guns it down the hallway. They're what, like, what did, what did, what did Trump call Pence? What did he call him? I forget. What was the, a pussy? Yeah. That, a that's pussy. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I just, so, I just want to bring that piece of evidence. And just fucking it. guns it, guns it down the hallway. And they're like, look, if you missed how fast this person ran by, let's put it in slow-mo. Like just fucking slow-mo. Catch it to be like, this is Josh Hawley, the same guy that was pro insurrectionist outside, fucking riled him up and said, if I was out there with you, I would. Keep in mind, he's fucking protected, protected by the blue that were there fighting for their lives to make sure that the people that didn't get in. And when they did get in, Josh Hawley was fucking out of there. He was gone. He fucking gone down the escalator. He was out of there. Okay, who Looking wants some it. Josh Hawley content? Here, let's let's see what this is. <laughs> okay, there's there's a little bit of Josh Holly content for you. Let's see uh, what else do we have because I wanna I wanna get to some video here. Of, um, uh, here's here's uh, do, 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 do. where oh fuck. there's the there's the if you want to play the Forrest Gump video again, you can. Yeah, well let's let's do that. Yeah, let's let's play that one. Um, I don't know. This may or may not be uh, something a piece of evidence that the January sixth select committee uh, didn't have or something. Hey you, ah, you look like an elite. I'm coming for you. Ah, run, Holly, run! You wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I could run like I was escaping an insurrection. And from January sixth on, if I was going somewhere. I was running. That boy is hauling ass. You ain't joshing. <laughs> He's booking it. He's booking it. Now, now booking I want to point out, I want to point out, we played that video uh, when you released it. Yeah, yeah. And it actually got banned in Russia, of all places. Weird. Weird. weird like not here Very weird not here we had a strike on our account not a strike but a, a notice yeah, like a copyright notice right. we yeah, had yeah. a copyright notice that somehow was banned in russia it was banned in russia yeah they i don't know if there's video. a connection between holly and russia but you know i don't know uh let me see if i can find i'm trying to find the um ah uh, damn where is it i want the damn um the benny hill version Oh, uh, all right. You play that. Give me a second. My computer's about to die. I don't know why. Hold on. Are you are you gonna are you gonna lose out? On I got two percent of my battery. Hold on. Oh, this is my oh man. God. Hold on. I gotta pause it. But you keep you find the video. You just won't see me for a moment. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna. I'm gonna find the uh, Benny Hill version here. 
<laughs> we lost we lost Sanchez here for just a minute. He's got to plug in his computer. Um, down in the bunker, not only is Wi-Fi um, very um, very scarce, but also power apparently. Um, in, Ooh, in the there we go. There, there we go. Sorry, did you get it back? Know, did you get it back? Okay. Yeah, I got it back. I had to reconfigure some Soros cables over here. I'm trying to find this. Um, I think this is it. This is it right here. Okay, here we go. Let's watch this one more time, and then mm -hmm. we'll give Josh Holly his due. Oh, it's fantastic. It's because again, the January 6th committee did not have to play the video. No. They could have they could have, you know, made a comment about it if they really wanted to, but they did not have to show the video. They did not have to show the video in fucking slow-mo, but they did. Because you know what? Josh Hawley can go fuck himself. So fuck yeah, him. He's writing a book fuck called him. Manhood, right? The the uh the masculine virtues Americans need, which is hilariously ironic uh not <laughs> intentional but as i joked about like Eddie, you know with each book you'll get a free pair of running shoes you know um that's, josh holly bonehead of the week you voted and it was overwhelming yeah there was no question josh holly was the bonehead so let's give on him each, on each one youtube and twitter he blasted through let's give him his due And there you have it, Josh wow. Holly, end of the week. Everyone I don't know what was faster, him on that <laughs> in that race or him running down the hallway in the January 6th video. Who knows? It was a hell of a race. It was a hell of a race. And if you want to vote on Bone of the Week, go to at Tony Michaels Pod. Follow us there. You can vote every single week for Bone of the Week, where you decide who the Bone of the Week is, and we break it down for you every single Friday. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well, because you do not want to miss an episode of Bonehead of the Week. Stick around. We will have some news right after the music. Thank <laughs> you.